Hello, it is Tuesday, July 6th, 2021. Uh, I'm Chris Remo, and this is the second edition of my series in which I solve the New York Times daily crossword. Uh, if you watched the first episode yesterday, you will know that Monday is the easiest day of the crossword week. Tuesday, therefore, is the second easiest. So this shouldn't be too bad. It'll be interesting to see how this goes as we progress through the first week with live solves, which, as I as I mentioned yesterday, are, are new to me um, doing this anything other than totally privately. So uh, we'll see how Tuesday goes. Shouldn't be too bad. Still shouldn't be too bad, but uh, we'll just have to see, won't we? So I'm going to remove the privacy veil here, ready to get started. And um, as usual, I kind of, I, I sort of um, tab through and I look at some of the answers and I, I answer the, the ones that are definite gimmies. Um, that I'm quite confident about. So spaces between teeth are gaps. I'm going to put that in there. Slightly To be slightly drunk is to be tipsy. Like a whole f cooked fish, say. I don't see, I don't know that one. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think it's possible to, I'm going to turn on pressing space should toggle between across and down. I forgot to do that yesterday. I like being able to toggle between across and down because um, I find that for when you put answers in, I often like to immediately jump to the crosses um, in case there's something that's a bit easier to get now that I've got one letter in. So a username on an Xbox, I happen to know that is a gamer tag. Blood classification system, that's A-B-O. That's, that's is actually something that comes up in crosswords often because it's a short word with two vowels and common letters. Blood classification system, the sort of A-B-O negative, all those different things, it's the A-B-O system. Cold War epithet. So this would be a sort of term of abuse. Pinko, I guess. Yeah. Lead into graphy. So seismography, for instance, although that's obviously too long for this particular case here. Um, sophology. That could be, but let's let's look at the crosses. Not much, a bit. So now we have an ST on this graphy, which leads me to believe it's probably stenography, which is a relatively ordinary term and therefore wouldn't be out of place on a Tuesday, I don't think. And also, we can see that that gives a KN, which is a very plausible collection of letters. Bendable body part is a knee. And the way I see it uh, could be otherwise said as to me, to me, to me. The way I see it online is IMO. I always like when they do this. I like when there are two, two clues in a row with essentially, with identical or nearly identical text. So we have the way I see it to me, and then the way I see it online is IMO. I like that. Staples of British Christmas time theater. These are pantomimes. These are those um, sort of music hall descended performances with uh, a lot of camp and drag and audience call and response, and they're usually about Dick Whittington, the one-time Lord Mayor of London. Three times, I guess, Lord Mayor of London, to be more accurate. The first cloned mammal was a sheep, I think. Is that a Scottish sheep named Dolly? Am I remembering that correctly? I remember when that happened. I was a child. Aren't I great? Question. Starts with a Y. Hmm. I don't know that offhand, but I'm certain that this is going to be Omaha. Yes, D-Day beach name is Omaha. All that a greedy business person thinks about. Could this be money, money, money? It certainly looks like it. And that makes me wonder if we're going to have a theme running through this puzzle that consists of the same word three times. Let's look at some of the other long answers and see if that bears out. Demand made with hands outstretched. Yes, this is going to be gimme, gimme, gimme. And I bet we'll see the same if we look at 61 across. Particularly enthusiastic cry at the altar. <laughs> I mean, it could be yes, 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 as in, I, or I do, I do, I do. That would be funny, but might be a bit too much of a of a uh, of a guess. Let's let's look at some of these. Um, Let's look at some of the crosses and see if any of those bear fruit. So skirt style could be an A line, and I'm going to put that in optimistically because 
it suggests the I do, the 5x or 6x or whatever it is I do. Um, baseball great who is once, once engaged to JLo. Now, <laughs> I think I know the answer to this, and it's entirely from doing crosswords, which is that there is a baseball player who comes up in crosswords often who goes by the nickname A Rod, Alex Rodriguez. And I have not a clue as to his marital, marital history, but I do suspect that is the answer. Les Miserables would be this. And then let's go back to the crosses on this long answer. We have second efforts here, um, starting with RE, that would be redos. College Sports Channel would be, I assume ESPN something. I don't know, I don't know what version of it is college sports, but I would wager a guess that it would be ESPNU for university. And here we go, Southern California school that almost always almost certainly also ends with a U for university. Um, the N of NB is note, nota bene, N-O-T-E. Let us type. You know, I really think this is going to be I do, I do, I do, I do, because that would comport with this O here. Let's uh, let's look at some of the other crosses that would take, take that forward. A quaint place to stay is an inn. We're keeping it going here. It's happening, everyone. It's happening. This would need to be an O. Jared of Dallas Fires Club, yes. That is Jared Leto. This would need to be another O. Word before, more night, more try, and more chance in Billboard hits. I, I don't even know if I know these songs, but that's definitely going to be one more night, one more try, and one more chance. Um, it's happening. It's all happening. This is going to be a D, most of outer space. Uh, most of outer space. Void, maybe? I would have said dark as in dark matter, but I guess that's most of everything, not just most of outer space. So let's say it's void. I'm, I'm, that's, I, I wouldn't usually put that in if I weren't completely confident of it, but I want this I do thing to be real. So this would need to be an I, a lettuce type, and I think a lettuce type is bib. Again, I'm putting that in because I'm trying to will this long answer to an, into existence, although at this point I think we can be confident it is true. Not much as of cream. A dab of cream, but that doesn't work in four letters. Not much as of cream. So what, what this is saying is it's a synonym for not much, and it is a word meaning not much that you would use in particular when describing cream. If this had more letters, dollop would be a valid clue for that reason, because a dollop is something that, well... I don't know if a dollop is accurately not much necessarily, but you get the idea. It It is disproportionately used with respect to cream. Kids TV character with a talking map. I think that is Dora. You know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the I do's. I don't know why I'm, I'm dancing around this. It's clearly the answer. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't usually, uh, on a Tuesday, I would usually be speeding through a Monday and Tuesday. It's interesting doing these while talking through my thought process because this this is if anything honestly this is even easier than than yesterday's puzzle and that that does happen sometimes they're not always strict every puzzle is very subjective in terms of what's more difficult to a, to a given person um on a given day so they can't always be strictly increasingly difficult by day and i'm finding this one to be a bit on the easier side um but that's but that's fine and and i and i think I'm going to guess this is, sorry, I just saw this. I'm going to guess this is Sinbad here. Yeah, Legend of the Seven Seas would be Sinbad. Not much of cream. Not much as of cream. I'm going to feel like an idiot when I when I finally get figure out what that is. A ski slope conveyance is a T-bar, that thing that you grab onto. Uh, and this is a pop group with the hits. Ah, I spelled Nota Bene incorrectly. It's N-O-T-A. That was a silly mistake. Um, pop group with these hits is ABBA, of course. I, I can't believe I didn't notice that was the um, the connecting. So this is a good follow-up to yesterday when there was a theme that didn't really add up to anything. It was just sort of some repeated little rhymes with letters. But here, this is a, um, a very clear theme, which is that all three of these theme answers uh, are ABBA songs. So that's, that's good. That's a nice good one. Uh, caves are caverns. I think. Oh, does that mean I got this pantomimes wrong? No, that's definitely pantomimes. 
Oh, caves. Okay, this is a good one. Um, I interpreted this to be a noun, a plural noun, caves, caverns. And the setter has very cleverly intersected that with this V to um, presumably to further that assumption. But in reality, this is referring to cave as a verb, to cave, to give in. Um, and I think in this case, actually caves, someone who caves is someone who gives in. So that's what that is. A prefix with present, omni is an omnipresent. To signify something is to mean it. 99 Luft Balloons Band, 1984. I think that's Nina. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I, I remember the band name. Congressman Waters, uh, Maxine Waters in the US. A self-evident truth is an axiom. An unreliable source of news can be derogatorily referred to as a rag. A stroller to a Brit is a pram. You see that a lot, These the, a sort of um, British idiomatic phrase. They will sometimes, they will sometimes in an easier puzzle say to a Brit or something like that, or in Britain, um, or they will refer to a British town name or something like that. Website where you go to see the stars, Yelp, because things are reviewed with stars. A hotshot guy informally, I guess you could call him Mr. Cool. One of the Hemsworth brothers, Chris, Chris Hemsworth. To arise from, huh, I don't know that actually off the top of my head. Let's look at some of the um, crosses. So these are hours at the prime meridian. And since they're abbreviating hours, we know that the answer will be an abbreviation. And in this case, it is GMT for Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, 2012 Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck film is Argo, and this blank three fatty acids refers to omega three fatty acids. To arise from, ah, I see now. To stem from, and now we have a discharge as of gas. So this is another case where this could be either a noun or a verb. To discharge or the discharge that derives from gas. In this case, um, I believe it is a noun and it is emission. Now we have a four-letter four word for secluded valley, which is a glen. A sewing machine part. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Let's look at the previous clue. You aren't. And five-letter word with an I and a G, which makes me think this is going to be uh, a gerund, a, a verb that uses a noun that ends in I-N-G, I think. Yeah. And if we look at the cross, we see prefix with technology. That would be nanotechnology, I think. And I really don't know what the sewing machine part is. So let's keep looking. A Texas border city, El Paso. That's fair enough. Ah, now here we see a sewing machine part is a pedal. So I was thinking of a modern electric sewing machine, but this is referring to a more traditional mechanical sewing machine, sewing machine that is human powered with a foot pedal. So it's pedal. An eye problem is a sty. Uh, and now we see that this 52 down clue is you aren't lying. And this Southern California school, SD blank U, uh, that would be San Diego State University, I think. And most gerunds, oh, that's funny. I just referred to two gerunds here with this lying, um, which are uh, gerunds are nouns. It's when you turn a verb into a noun. Um, I like, I always like when Puzzles have little bits of internal reference to other parts. That's always fun. A common grilled cheese sandwich go with is tomato soup. A poker giveaway is a tell when you do something that causes someone to infer your interior thoughts. A sinuous fish is an eel. I've always thought it's funny that eels are fish as opposed to something else, but they are. They're fish. Harry Potter's potions professor. Ah. Um, well, <laughs> you may also know if you ever listened to me on podcast, there are very few things I know about Harry Potter, but one of the things I know about Harry Potter is, I'm sorry if this is a spoiler still to somebody, one of the things I certainly know is that Snape killed Dumbledore, and I don't know much about who Snape is, but I know that he exists, and I think that's going to be this guy. Um, witches, often referred to as hags. Actor Ken or actress Lena Olin. Lena Olin. I don't know Ken Olin, but 
I am familiar with Lena Olin. Felipe Matty or Jesus of baseball fame. Um, this is another one. I, this is another one that much like a rod, a lot of, a lot of pairs of clues in this puzzle. Um, much like a rod. I know this name entirely from crossword puzzles and I believe it is a Lou L O U. Uh, knocked off the schedule is to be bumped. A relaxing soak is a bath. An Arizona city and county seat would be Yuma, as in, what, 310 to Yuma, I think? The Venus de Milo is a statue, a famous armless statue. Uh, as, uh, as David Lynch put it in Twin Peaks, the babe with no arms is the Venus de Milo. Name's Milo. Some old PCs are IBMs. Plant part that most herbicides attack. I don't know, actually. Anna Karenina is the Dostoevsky book. That is Dostoevsky, is it? Or is it Tolstoy? Oof. Embarrassing. Um, three downs, no. Okay, so here's here's an example of the kind of thing I was talking about with Brit. This, Although this refers in, in, to a foreign language, not just a different dialect of English. So uh, this is the no that would be used by Anna Karenina. Three downs, no. And... That being a Russian work and character, it would be Niet. Like a whole cooked fish, say. Ah, a whole, whole cooked fish is bony. Um, and now we see that the plant part most herbicides attack must be the root, I suppose. That's the only word that makes sense here. And we have a land with coasts on both the Caspian Sea and the Persian Gulf is Iran. That makes perfect sense. And we're getting right near the end here. President, President Pro Tem. I think that is short for President Pro Tempore uh, M. Aren't I great? Question. Yay me, it says. And yay me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not yay me because I've entered something incorrectly. So this happens sometimes. And uh, what an embarrassing thing to do on my second day. Um, usually when I when I have an error, I, uh, I run through the puzzle very quickly and I just glance at the answers to see if there's something that immediately jumps out to me as um, incorrectly entered. I also end up noticing clues I never even saw the first time around, like brood, mope, if you're brooding, you're moping. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly scan through this and see if I can see anything incorrect. And if I don't, that is not fun because I'm going to have to look more carefully and I don't, I'm not seeing anything. Could this ESPNU be incorrect? I'm certainly not confident about that. Oof, I don't see anything. That's dangerous. I apologize if you have been, have spotted my mistake right from the, from when it was first entered. I'm going to run back through this other direction, which might bear more fruit. Um, this is always, this, <laughs> this is always a frustrating thing, especially when it's on what otherwise feels to be a very simple puzzle. Um, because it seemed so simple that I don't, re usually when this happens, I remember an area of the puzzle that was tough. Oh, here we go. This can't be right. Not much as of cream. Ah, sin bid, I wrote, like it, some kind of idiot. That would be sin bad and a dab of cream. There we go. Oof, that is a that is a, an embarrassing time for a Tuesday. Although I guess I was talking through it as well, so I've got that. I wonder if I if anyone would find it interesting to watch me solve some of these at something closer to my actual pace when I'm not narrating it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll sort of alternate um, narrating and doing a more straightforward solve. We'll see. You know, that'll be interesting to see how that works out. Anyway, not a particularly impressive time for a Tuesday, that's for sure. Uh, streak is up to 100, sorry, 833 days. So um, I will keep doing this for a bit and see if anyone enjoys it. I'll be back tomorrow for another New York Times Daily Crossword Puzzle. And on that, thanks for watching. Take care.